Oh no! Hello! Hi everyone! How are you? Oh we! Hi! Hi guys! How are you? I am here in Newark, New Jersey. Airport! Yay! Yay for New York! Or New Jersey. <laughs> I am just like so thrilled that I had to do a video about it today. Um, you know, I talk a lot about following the energy. Hi guys. And you know, it's like, we really don't know what the future ever holds. The future is not solid and it just keeps changing. I had um, some rerouting to do to come to the US last week for some personal things that are going on in my life. And I was looking at flights and um, looking at, okay, I have to go from Brazil to America for a day, but then I'm going to Argentina, and then I'm going to Costa Rica. And some of the flights, some of the flights that were coming up were like multiple stops. It was going to take forever. Hi. And I, I saw this one flight coming from Argentina to New York, Newark. And it had an 11 hour layover. Now, I usually don't like 11 hour layovers, you know, um, especially in a town where I can't just go outside and go shopping or do something like that. But I asked the question like, okay, if I choose this flight, you know, will it be fun? Will it be fun for me? Will, will, I, will it be expansive? Will I get to create something there? And when I asked about New York going to Costa Rica, which seems kind of ridiculous, okay, I'm in Argentina, right? I'm gonna fly all the way to New York, go north to go back south to San Jose. But it was so expansive. And you know, landing at five o'clock this morning, which then we had our plane rerouted because we were too early, they couldn't get us into a gate. Like, it was so interesting. Like you would think like, oh, I'm tired. I haven't slept all night. But no, it's like my body was so excited to be here. Within the first hour I was here, I was already creating some classes around the world. I'm so excited. We're gonna do a bunch of classes in Brazil, Switzerland, Netherlands. And if you guys haven't heard, I'm doing Conscious Vagina all around the world. That's the thing that triggered all this also yesterday, which I want to talk about. Um, but it was like all these things like easily came together. Um, like I talked to one person and then we were meeting with another person and then they were in this place and a venue and they talked to the venue. But like everything just easily came together because we were actually at that moment not trying to conclude what we had to do, not trying to force things into creation, but just ask the question and follow that energy. And then I got a massage because one has to get a massage around here, you know, uh, <laughs> after all long flights. And then I came into the lounge and, you know, it was funny, like I could have gone, there's so many restaurants here, there's so many places I could just hang out. And my body was being pulled into the lounge and it's a beautiful Polaris. It's one of the biggest ones I've ever seen actually. And I walk in and I see these two women, one behind the bar and one standing there. And my body was just drawn to go say hello to them. And it was so beautiful guys. Um, you really never know why you're somewhere other than someone needed you or you needed someone or there's something that needed to change energetically hi and that's exactly what happened i started to talk to these ladies and they're such a gift one of them her name is courtney and she was the bartender and the other one her name is carrie and i'm going to put a picture in here so you guys can see their beautiful faces but Carrie's going through some really, really difficult times right now. And she's such a vibrant being, but you could tell life has her down. And 
the difficulty, like you could tell she was trying to hide it, but yet it was there. And we just started to talk and she asked me what I do and I just shared a little bit and just her whole world started to light up. And we talked about being you and not changing you for anyone else and gratitude and talked about the bars and like it's just their worlds just started to expand. And Courtney told me about her going skydiving and I told her about me going skydiving years ago and just the conversations and I guess we tend to forget that a lot of people are surrounded by darkness and heaviness and sadness and sorrows and problems and we don't realize the light that we are coming into it. And it is, and, and it was just like, you know, they hugged me and like, it's just been like, hmm, I can't explain it other than it feels like I was, I was brought here because they needed me to feel more empowered and uplifted. But by me being me, it created that with them, but by them being them, it energized me even more. And like, it's this simultaneous gifting and receiving that we talk about. And I think so often, most of us, as much as we talk about contribution, which is gifting and receiving simultaneously, it's about gifting. And I know this, this, I, I talked to Gary Douglas a week ago about this, like it's still for me moments where it's just about me gifting and I don't realize it, but it's about receiving. And I've been asking, you know, where can I go? What city, country, state, whatever that I can be a contribution to people, that the tools could be a contribution to people. And I've been talking a lot to my horse, Angel, who I have to say is one magical being. And because of Angel, I actually became a conscious horse, conscious rider facilitator uh, in the last few months. And I'm gonna be facilitating some leadership with horses classes. And that's what Switzerland came up to be. Actually, we're gonna do conscious vagina, right voice, and leadership with horses. And the Netherlands, we're gonna do some classes and we're gonna do leadership with horses. Like, it was this gift that if we're willing to allow everything to contribute to us, it can, it really can. And I know we're like, okay, I wanna go change the world. But the first thing Dr. Dane talks about you changing the world is you being you and you starting to even receive the gift of you, the difference of you, the wackiness of you. You know, that's what makes you so different. And by you actually starting to receive you, you become this invitation, this inspiration. You become this energy that just keeps going out into the world. And people don't even know you. They don't have to know you. But now the space possibilities are available. So I'm wondering, like, like I don't want to make it about anyone else, but like, would you guys be willing to receive one thing about you today that is the gift to others, that is a gift to the world, but it's also a gift to you? And I realized for me, one of the things that has always been there for me is I love talking with people. I love people. <laughs> I know it's crazy. I know it's crazy. Um, but it is. And... It's not like I'm doing it because I expect something from people, but just I enjoy people. So like, what is that for you? And if you are willing to actually receive the gift of it yourself, what else would that add to the whole world? Um, I can't explain it, but yesterday, I had a lot of calls, so I didn't get a chance to shower till later. And I kept getting this energy from Conscious Vagina, like, put me out into the world more, put me out in the world more. And I was going to go take a shower, come back, and post on Facebook. But the energy was so aggressively present, <laughs> I had to post it when I posted it. And it's been amazing, you know, chatting with people in different countries and different cities. And, and, and I realized, like, 
there's something that this would like this creation you know the consciousness of this it's not me i'm the facilitator of it but it's actually the consciousness like even bars foundation right voice or whatever it's the universe of those things that we're actually sharing with the world it's not about the facilitator it is about the facilitator in the sense that the facilitator also brings their energy into it but it's not about us it's about the conscious energy of these creations and what they're here to gift to the world and I just wonder like would you be willing to receive it you don't have to do anything you don't have to go anywhere you don't have to say anything would you now just allow the universe and the universes of whatever consciousness access whatever that is animals the universe of animals to contribute to you so I'm gonna be in Budapest in September we're gonna do a conscious vagina class online and and there and a business done different and what was really interesting is we had this venue but it wasn't available one morning of what we needed so we looked at hotels we looked at Airbnbs we're looking at everything and yesterday it was so funny once I posted conscious vagina there was a ripple effect of everything else that came into play and this morning when Yana's called now Friday's available. So it's this like truly, if we're literally following the energy, it's not linear. But whatever we, I was willing to step into yesterday, whatever I chose with posting that, opened the gateway to all these other possibilities. And it's not linear, it's not all about conscious vagina. So like, what is that for you? What are you waiting on? You know, are you willing not to wait? and actually choose, choose something. Maybe you choose that you're not gonna wait anymore. Maybe that's enough of a choosing, right? But what else could that add to your life and living? What else could that invite into the world? And I told you guys about Courtney and Carrie. Well, guess what? That energy was very contagious. In just like two minutes, I had all of these people coming and wanting to talk to me and talk like I'm just saying we are this magnetic energy of joy of ease of possibilities of shining that light and everything gets drawn to it and if you guys missed it I did a free call last week called money magnet and we had thousands and thousands of people who got it um, if you didn't just message me privately and I'll send you the link I think it's global wellness for all com slash money dash magnet but it is we are magnets it's not just money you're magnet to possibilities you're the magnet to joy you're magnet of money and cash and wealth and you are a magnet to ease and so much more but you gotta get out of your head. That's the key. You gotta get out of your head and start to be you, all of you, like truly you. And that's one that I keep every day adding and asking more of because I spent so long being what everybody else wanted me to be. And not because they said anything, but just what I was choosing at the time. I was choosing whatever I was choosing and I'm not choosing it anymore I'm choosing something different but like you guys are such such a gift oh okay Rosemary um, yeah uh, if you guys go to that it's an immediate download and it's in multiple languages um, global wellness for all and I think it's money magnet. So yes, I will add it here so you guys have it. It was a lot of fun to actually do that. And I think we did it in eight or nine languages. Um, yeah, I found it. Yes, here it is, beautiful. There you go. You can just go there, put your name, your last name, your country, 
and your language that you want and then you'll get the download for you you could click on the French the French will be there for you okay all right so what's one thing you have been refusing to acknowledge about you that if you no longer refused it would open up the pathways to everything you've been asking for and more because see, I think that's the other piece is like we keep asking for things, but our asks are these little asks. And if you're willing to actually ask something greater, like one question Gary Douglas asked me, I don't know, last year or the year before what it was is he said to me like, and we were talking about money and um, creation with money. And he asked, what amount of money would you, would you have to have to create the change you would like to create in the world. And I remember the number that I said, he said, that's too small. Do you get, you actually create that in like a month or two or three. And it really got me thinking about like, we really think small. We're thinking of like numbers that seem high to us. But even if you're not the one physically receiving the money, you are generating and contributing to the energies of money that are being generated and created in the world. So when you are willing to actually ask for more, you're allowing you to generate, create, and actualize for now and the future. Because think about it, anything you desire to create, you don't want it to be created and then die five minutes later. Like what else does it require to continue to thrive? Yes, oh, thank you very much, very, very much, yes. Yes, and what else, and what else, and what else? Because most of us, you know, we look at like what we want today. What would you like your life to be like in five years, truly? And I was talking to Dane about this at the advanced body class in Argentina. And it is that willingness to ask and not being conclusion, but yet still ask, right? So what would you like to be? What's that energy that comes up? For me, it's to expand consciousness on the planet and have a hell of a lot of fun. I love cars. I love jewelry. I love laughing. I love people. So like, what else can I add to my life that brings more of the things that bring me joy? Because we want to change the world, guess what? You can't do it being upset and frustrated and angry. You're just going to bring more of that in the world. So what if you did have more joy in your life? And many of you guys already know this, but are you actually creating it? Are you actually being it? We can talk about it as much as we like, but are you being that energy? Anything you be, you can receive. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? So what have you been refusing to be that if you didn't refuse it would expand joy, ease, glory, laughter, whatever on the whole planet? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to share my story today because I just adore Carrie and Courtney and they really melted my heart. I don't know how to explain it, but mm, I just wonder like truly what else is possible, guys, that we're not even asking for. And if we were willing to ask it, like what new world would we create together? Yeah. And don't forget your bodies. Your bodies are magical. Yeah. So you said, I received so much anger and frustration. Well, you know what? It's okay. What if you can choose something different now? And whose anger and whose frustration are you buying as real as your own anyway? And if you have the ability to receive a lot of anger, how freaking potent are you? to be able to do that. So what if it's potency? And now what could you create with that energy? 
It's not about making it right. It's not about making it wrong. And a lot of times we misidentify anger, which is actually our capacities and abilities and talents of potency. So how talented are you, my friend? That's what I've got to say. And if you were using it to your advantage instead of using it against you, what else would that create? Because that's the thing. Anything we make wrong or right, we actually get out of the awareness of it and the capacities and abilities and options with it. It's that moment that you have to be willing to truly be an interesting point of view. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Well, I am going to be heading out, not right now, but soon. <laughs> I got to jump into some other calls, but I just wanted to say hello to you guys and the gift that you are, please celebrate it. I know I talk about it a lot, but I don't think we talk about it enough. If we are willing to celebrate our gifts, it expands on the planet. And even if your gift is frustration, yay, frustration, because that means you're going to get a little fire under your ass and you're going to do something about it. <laughs> hey, Dima, nice to have you here. All right, you guys. Well, I adore you. I, I do look forward to seeing you guys somewhere around the world. And um, yeah, come play with Conscious Vagina. Come play with leaders and horses and all the other fun creations. And I'll talk to you soon. Ciao. Bye.